Hey guys, this is a HP Pavilion X2 laptop. This laptop has a couple of issues. Number one, the laptop only works on battery. If the battery is dead, it will not power on, even if it's plugged into the mains. Secondly, when the battery is dead, it will only take charge when the laptop is powered off. So essentially I have to use this like I use my battery operated Hoover. I have to leave it powered off and plugged in to charge the battery. Then when it's fully charged, I can use it for about six hours until the battery is dead. And when the battery is dead, I must keep it powered off and plugged in to charge the battery again. Now I have this laptop fixed to the wall of my bedroom beside a power outlet, so it doesn't need to be mobile. I don't really need the battery, so it would be preferable for me to have it working on the mains. So what I want to do is I want to try and see why it doesn't work when it's plugged in. To better demonstrate this fault, what I'm going to do is hook up my own DC power supply to this motherboard so we can see what current is being drawn at any particular time. And the first step of doing that is to identify on the board of this pavilion where our DC 5 volts hits the motherboard. So it's pretty easy to do. We know that it comes in on the USB type C, which is this port right here. And if we zoom in on that, it's actually marked on the board. So it says P5VOA and it's these two pins here. So it comes in on these two pins, goes across these two capacitors, across this component here, whatever this is, I'm not sure what it is, it says HRAA on it, into here, onto this MOSFET, and just for extra clarification, it actually calls it DC in once it's past this MOSFET right here. So we know that this is where it comes in. What I'm going to do here is I am going to connect my power supply up to this. I'm going to put 5 volts on the power supply and we're going to see what is happening with the current when it's off, when I power it on. Let's do that next. So just to quickly show you how I'm injecting power onto the board. This is my DC power supply. I connect my black wire to ground. I connect my red wire to the 5 volt input that we've just identified and I set my DC power supply to 5 volts. And we're now going to observe what happens with the current when we power it on. Okay, I've connected up my wires the same way as I showed in the previous diagram. So my black wire is connected to the ground of my DC power supply. And my 5 volts from my DC power supply is connected to the input section that I showed in the last diagram. And this is what happens. It's currently powered off, so if I switch on my power supply... It's now currently drawing just over 600 milliamps, 650 milliamps to charge the battery. But what happens here is when I power on the laptop, this is tricky enough to do with one hand on the camera. So when I power it on, watch what happens. Okay, so you see the backlight has come on, so the laptop is on. We've got a splash screen for HP and it's still drawing power. But watch what happens here. Did you see that? All of a sudden, it just goes to zero. Just as we hit the window splash screen. So it signs in. And you can hear that there's no noise coming from my DC power supply now. It's completely stopped taking power. And as soon as I shut the laptop down again, it's now drawing 6.97 milliamps at 5 volts. So, one thing I want to try here is if I power it on, power button once again, if I bring it to pre boot, so I should be able to get this to a boot menu. Okay, so it seems that if I power it on and just catch it before it goes to Windows, that it still takes charge. So as you can see there, it's drawing 800 milliamps right now. But if I go ahead and exit this screen and boot to Windows, so coming out of pre-boot menu, See, it's still drawing 830 milliamps at this point. Just starting to load Windows. I 
and just as it comes into the splash screen, it's gone again. So what's going on here? I mean, I thought initially it might have been a hardware fault, but when I power it on, it's drawing charge. It's only when it hits Windows that we're experiencing the problem. Googling around just to see if this was a known issue. And I came across this post by somebody called DLC Medeiros, is it? Is that like Glenn Medeiros? Nothing's going to change my love for you. Maybe it's him in disguise. But this is for a similar... It's a Pavilion X2 10... Yeah, it's a detachable, so it's a very similar one as well. Now this guy seemed to have an issue with the battery, but the one thing he posted on was this Windows 10 Microsoft ACPI compliant control method. Now I've seen issues with this in the past to do with batteries not charging and things like that. It's sort of strange because we never had these sort of issues with Windows 7. I don't remember there being any issues with batteries charging uh, with any of the older operating systems with Windows 10 we've had a few laptops that have had an issue and you would need to uninstall this or disable it and it was a pain to be honest because it, it usually didn't fix it completely and it happened again shortly after but what I'm going to try and do with my little X2 I'm going to try disabling this Microsoft ACPI compliant control method and just see if that brings us any further because as I demonstrated in the previous part of the video it the charging circuit works fine when the laptop is powered off okay it works fine when it's powered off and before we boot to Windows so I don't think it's an electronic fault so you know you have the you're always sort of thinking will I get out my soldering iron here you know I just want to throw flux on something and attack it with a soldering iron but it seems like before Windows, in the pre-Windows environment, uh, when I get to that boot menu, it's still working. It's only when I move past that and go into Windows that we're experiencing problems. So I think it's something to do with the operating system. So what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to disable this and see where we are after that. So back at the X2, we're still at the status quo here. So as you can see, I have 5 volts, but it's still drawing nothing. It seems like it starts to pull one milliamp and then just shuts itself down. But we have in device management, the Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on that and disable. Disabling this device will cause it to stop functioning. Do you really want to disable it? Do you really wanna do that? Yes, I do. Okay, now it hasn't kicked in straight away, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut it down just to give it a chance because a lot of these sort of things need a shutdown. So let me just shut it down. Okay, so it's shutting down now. So watch this, even though even though I've shut this down now, watch and you'll see, it takes a few seconds for it to kick back in before it starts actually charging again, even though I've powered it down now. Did you see that? It's crazy. Okay, so we now know our laptop is powered off and charging as it always was. So I'm gonna power it on uh, with Windows, with our ACPI compliant manager switched off, or sorry, disabled. So let's see what happens. So press my power button once again. Okay, we've got backlight. So still drawing 699 milliamps and going into Windows. Okay, well look at that. We've reached the window sign-in screen. I have mine set to automatically sign in, as you can see. And it's still taking charge. It's pulling charge now with Windows booted, which it wasn't doing before. And that is, of course, with my Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery disabled but just to prove that this isn't a coincidence or anything like that watch this if i tap on this 
and I choose to enable it, it goes straight to zero. So that proves that whatever the issue is with this laptop is related to Windows and it's Microsoft ACPI compliant control method of battery in device manager. So what I'm going to do, my last step, I'm going to try and take down all the updates and I'm going to upgrade it to the latest version of Windows 10 and see if that makes any difference. I reloaded the HP Pavilion X2 with Windows and pulled down all of the drivers, but it's still doing the same thing. However, it is a win for me because I wanted it to work when it was plugged in and it does that. But obviously that is an issue on a number of laptops which it just doesn't seem to be resolved even in the latest version of Windows. Now I was hoping to attack this with a soldering iron as I'm sure you guys were hoping. Um, as it turns out I didn't really need to take these pictures. Uh, the whole purpose of the channel is to try and get in and have a look at all of these circuits uh, but it obviously wasn't appropriate in this circumstance because it seems like it was a Windows issue. But the good news is my own laptop has failed this evening. Yes, my own Lenovo laptop has failed. And what's happening is I press it, it powers on and immediately shuts off. I've been having difficulty getting content for the channel, but it seems like serendipity has just crossed my path here. My own laptop has failed. I'm going to take it apart and we're going to do that next week. Thanks for all the subscriptions and the nice comments. Um, I'm going to leave it at that for this week. If you have any comments on this or if you know of any way to fix this issue permanently because I've seen it on quite a few laptops, post it in the comments below and I'll see you next week. Thanks.